On this explore, we return to the abandoned military radar base. Last time we were not able to complete our adventure due to the weather, but we are hoping this time to be a little more lucky. So we're back exploring the abandoned radar base for the second time. This is gonna be take two because of what happened last time. This right here is the giant barrel where we got stuck and we ended up driving down there. So that was the first problem that happened last time. Basically, once we got there, it was actually, I mean, you couldn't even see anything at all. It was like we were in the clouds. So hopefully it's gonna go better this time. The first buildings we explore are located at the bottom of the mountain, and they would have been used for the dining hall, dorms, and other recreational activities to help pass time of being crammed into a metal hut during the long winters. We then start our hike up the mountain. So we finally just made it up practically the mountain. I think we're at uh, over 3,000 feet, which is pretty much like the mountains that we climb. So we just made it up to the radar base, and this is one of the small buildings that are outside of it. It's hard to tell what this building would have been used for, but you can still see the remnants of large machinery that was left behind. To get this radar station up and running, it took the military about two years. Construction started in 1954 and it costed about $21 million. During the Cold War, the United States and the Soviet Union entered an arms race. During this time of uncertainty, Cuba became a communist country and the Soviets secretly hid nuclear weapons on the island. Tensions had become increasingly high and President Kennedy was scared the Soviets would engage the United States in nuclear warfare. A number of these radar bases would now appear all over the country during the 1950s to monitor and protect the United States from a surprise attack from the Soviet Union. This was a crucial part of the United States defenses during an era of uncertainty and paranoia. particular base were about 174 men living in these metal huts. Imagine during the coldest days of winter having to maneuver daily up and down the narrow winding road that leads from the administration buildings on the bottom of the mountain to the steep radar towers at the summit. To give you some more perspective of the living conditions, it is about 9 miles to the closest back road from the summit and even once you reach the back road there still isn't anything around you truly feel like you are in the middle of nowhere.
from the top of the tower, guys, you could actually see another building that's kind of hidden in the woods. So right now we're just kind of exploring around, going through some of these trails, trying to find it. Because this was a military operation, it was very difficult for us to find any details on what the inside of this radar base would have looked like, leaving us to only wonder what life would have truly been for the people that manned this radar base. The Cold War was an incredibly scary period of time for a lot of people, and I'm sure it would have been tough working in a small, confined space with tensions so high. A fair warning to anyone that wants to venture to this location, these structures are in very bad condition and are extremely dangerous to maneuver. Since this base went abandoned around 1961, they have been left for extreme weather to tear at its metal exterior. Since its closure, the radar base has been the site of multiple fatalities. Around 1967, a group of snowmobilers were riding the trail without permission. One of them was decapitated after riding into a chain that was placed across the trail as a makeshift gate. In 1990, another incident happened where a person that climbed to the top of the largest tower broke through the wooden railing and fell to their death. We saved the largest tower for last. Most of the insides have been torn out or destroyed by vandals, but this tower is sure to give the best view. On top of the tower, you get an incredible view of the ridgeline and the surrounding mountains. On a day like today, you can even see Canada in the distance, which is a lot different than the first time we came here. The view definitely made the hike worth it for us, and it was a great way to end our exploration here at the radar base. As for today, this radar base sits on top of a steep mountain falling further and further into decay. These haunting structures tower over the mountainside as a constant reminder of a dark time in our world's history. And so I hope you enjoyed this episode. We just finished up at the radar base. Well, I'm really glad that we came back a second time. It was awesome weather. It was a really cool adventure. So thank you guys so much for watching and remember to subscribe to the channel.